Hi, <laughs> uh, I'm Chick Eljoy. Uh, uh, today is 27 uh, August. Yeah, 27 August 2021. I'm in Malvin, Johannesburg. Uh, that's the location. Uh, I have a gig in Roadport Theatre. <laughs> I have a gig in Roadport Theatre. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm ready. I like to think I'm ready. I like to think I'm ready. Reason I sound this calm and down. Uh, it's been long, man, since I went on stage. You know, like I do my jokes every day. Like in terms of uh, doing sketches, because I do sketches now. Uh, I'm an internet comedian, <laughs> right? So I do jokes almost every day. So stand up, it's like wow, <laughs> you know. But this is actually my first laugh. You know, this is my. So I'm shaking. I think I'm a bit rusty. So we shall see tonight. But one thing for sure, I'm funny, man. Like I'm funny. So yeah. Comedy is is at a stage now where no one is sure what's going on, right? Like with this whole COVID pandemic thing, uh, lockdowns, levels, and all those things, people are not sure of what's gonna happen tomorrow, you know. So comedy right now is actually something that is scary. If 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 it wasn't uh, putting in the income for you, it is actually scary for you to depend on it for income, right? Like if it wasn't like stable income, if you were as big as, uh, okay, if you, I won't, I won't throw names, but if you were as big as other comedians who are really big in South Africa right now, uh, comedy will, will still work for you, right? Because you still have income summer, summer, because all the big comedians right now, summer, summer, they have an income, right? But if you are someone who wants to start out, uh, it's kind of, it's shaky can't take this a career right now, it's, it's hard, right, but it is a career, and uh, we are still trying to find our feet, I think that's the way to put it, we are still trying to find our feet, so everyone is uncertain about the longevity, about what's going to happen in the future, like what does it hold for us, you know, but we roll on, man. <laughs> COVID, yay, 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 yay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm from Zimbabwe. I am. Uh -uh. I'm not like him. I'm not like him. <laughs> I am not like him. Like Njaya Mina, I have blended in. Like, say, I am now considered a South African. Let me break it down to you. Right now, if I'm walking in Johannesburg CPT, I'm on my face officially begging from who? David Tempet! It will be ID! Unlike him, I don't panic. I look them straight in the eye. Control. Yeah. Like, like, you understand, Joe? Like, slavos in fun. Slavos. <laughs> slavos. Like, I am that Zimbabwean who's blending in, but I am worried, man, I am worried. Because I've been doing comedy for about uh, 11 years now, right? But I'm not famous, I'm not. Like say, I once went on SS Got Talent, I got there, I got, there, uh, got a golden buzzer. I went to the semi-finals, I got there, I didn't win. I'm like, why, I was funny. They're like, yeah, it's not Zimbabwe Got Talent. <laughs> you might be blending in, but you don't have the green card. I'm like, shit. Shit, but I'm gonna fix that thing now, soon, very soon. Like I'm dating a Zulu girl, her name is Tando. It's for the IT, man, I'm like. <laughs> it's for the IT. But the world is changing, man. Like, the whole world is changing, you know? Because, uh, say, oh, I feel like talking to you, because I'm <laughs> like, it's doing wonders, man. <laughs> I can see what you're going to do. Right? Uh, like, the world is changing, man. The world is changing. Like, one of my dreams, one of my dreams, right? It's one of my dreams. One of my dreams was to actually go and visit uh, Somizi, right? Like, hey. 
How are you going, John? Right? <laughs> One of my dreams was to visit Somizi, right? Because I just want to test his food, right? He's a great cook, man. I've seen the TV show. He's a great cook, right? But now with this whole thing, I can't. I can't. Imagine, say, if I go and test his food, then I come back and I look at you. I'm like, yo, we you know so easy, we ate a feast. <laughs> That's a fucked up joke. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, like I'm saying, right, I'm not famous, man. Let me break this thing down. I'm not famous. Like, I've done shows with Skumba. Big Bang a comedy show, we toured the whole country. It was amazing. Every show when you get there, at the foyer, when you're about to check in, from nowhere, a random girl comes running. Oh my God, oh my God. And then they come to Skumba. I cannot believe it's you. Can I take a picture with you? Skumba, yeah, I'm not gamer. And then they look at me. Sorry, buddy. Just had to stop Right? <laughs> like that was my life, touring with Skumba, right? That was my life. Until one time, a miracle happened. When Secunda, Right, Crescent Casino, as we walk into the foyer from Norway, this girl comes running, oh my God, oh my God, and then she passes Kumba, and then I became worried, oh my God, oh my God, and then she passes another comedian, Aputinolo, I'm like, where is she going? <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, she came and stood right in front of me, I cannot believe it's you. I was so excited, I was like, me too, I cannot believe it's me. <laughs> And then she took out her phone. Chami, I'm going to this and all of them too good. She thought I was one of them. I'm like, not funny, not funny, right? But anyway, anyway, I've come to understand that as a comedian, as a comedian, you're not going to be famous the time you want, right? And also, not every way I perform, people get my jokes. Right? Not every way. Not, like say, the other day, I wrote a joke, right, about Bushiri. I told myself that I'll never do that joke anymore because I realized it's nothing major. Okay. <laughs> I was testing the room, I'm sorry. I was testing the room <laughs> just to test. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, so the idea of this whole thing is uh, is to leave something when 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 this whole flesh is gone, you know. Uh, so when I'm gone, I want there to be something, you know. Well, I was actually talking with one of my brothers in art, uh, Bruce Nui, and this way this whole thing of uh, taking footage of wherever I'm going, I came about, you know, creating like a documentary while I'm still alive, you know, because. When I'm gone, there must be something that an upcoming ventriloquist must go and look at, or an upcoming stand up comedian, or anyone who's like, oh, who, who the hell was Chick Aljo? Right? So, it's about living something on earth, man. So, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, in this whole thing, it's going to be a long process, right? But I'm just going to be taking clips each and every show, and then keeping these clips, and then combining them. But I won't keep them to myself because that's like still being selfish. So whatever footage that I'll make, I'll edit it and then I'll throw it on the net for you guys. You know, so it's like we are creating a documentary together.